Hi guys, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. As you can see, Bella's in the car and we're setting up ready for another big adventure. Uh, we've just met a lovely couple in the Bailey Auto over there, Autograph over there. They are um, from Ireland and they are traveling around. So today we are staying in Slovakia. We're not heading into Austria for a change. We're gonna avoid some of those huge toll roads. Uh, there is a toll box in Slovakia, but we have literally put about 30 euros on it in a whole year. So we're going to head into sort of central Slovakia to a campsite called Kaliba Pacho. As soon as the, um, our new friends in the uh, Bailey Autograph have uh, hit the road, we're going to top it with a little bit of water and then we're going to go and see the new campsite. So I'll video anything we see en route and we'll speak to you later. Well, I've just had a little reverse and put the van into the service area. This is an actual air as well as a storage facility. So you can actually pay to stay here in the air where we park and you can choose water and it's one euro for 100 liters and you can select electricity by switching between these buttons and pay for one of the electricity sockets over on the, on the air. So it's good. It's also got waste as well. So. So all in all, it's a good little service area. There is also fuel here. You can also get gas, Slovak bottles only, obviously. And there's a little shop over there that serves food and essentials. There's also toilets, washing machines and showers. It's a nice little spot. I mean, there's nothing here in terms of scenery or anything like that, but for an overnight stay, it's a perfect little park up there. motorway we are we've got about mm, 15 kilometers or so to go about 20 minutes or something 23 minutes it's beautiful and green um, I have probably already put a bit of in the video uh, showing you the hills I forget how green the country is um, lots of open space hardly anybody here if you've not been to Slovakia I thoroughly recommend it uh, absolutely stunning see lovely fields and green trees lovely hills and hardly any traffic even better that's it there with the brown wooden buildings on the left the meters turn left there are cabins to hire as well as places to park your motorhome so they've got mini golf too. <laughs> it's a restaurant. Turn so. left, then you'll arrive at your destination. We're looking for the campsite entrance rather than the restaurant. So the camp is to turn right after you've got across here. So to the right, it says restaurant, yeah, camp to the right hand side. restaurant here which is apparently very good which we might test out later we've got to go right you've arrived yeah it's a traditional slovak restaurant and it's uh, quite popular apparently it's quite a tight gate huh? <laughs> i think this is reception here on the it says camping this way Hi guys, well we were merrily just having a little siesta, as you can probably tell by the state. And a very loud clap of thunder just woke us up. So we're just frantically putting things away because it's not looking good, I'm afraid. 
And unfortunately, the weather app looks like there's a much bigger storm coming after this little bit. So we're just folding things up and going back to scratch. There are hard spots landing now. It's coming. Mm. Do you say, Bells? We don't like thunderstorms, we really do. Don't worry, you're safe in here. We'll watch it through the window. <laughs> Did I say it should pass by? Yeah. Um, it's quite heavy rain. <laughs> Are you worrying? Are you? How are you doing? Are you hiding under the table? <laughs> it won't get you, don't worry. Just when you think it can't get any heavier. It does. It's torrential rain. Thankfully, we did get the carpet put away and the awning in. Look at that. Everywhere we go, it ends up raining. I'm so sorry if we visit your area and you weren't expecting the weather. Morning, guys. Um, we haven't really done an awful lot for videoing, to be honest. It, it was torrential rain all afternoon and um, we didn't really get out to video anything or do very much to be honest we just chilled out so that was really nice um, today i am going to show you around the campsite um, i have just had breakfast doug's um, made us some lovely breakfast here which is remnants of so i'm just going to have a little walk around the campsite and show you what's around i have just washed my hair which is why it's all wet and thingy it's too hot to stop getting the hair dryer out um, the showers are really good uh, they are push button, which are not my favourite, but um, they're hot, uh, set temperature, and the facilities are relatively modern and new, so um, it's a good campsite. It's more family orientated, this site, but as you'll see when I show you in a second. Belly! Morning. Say morning. <laughs> Is that dad? You had your breakfast? Have you had some lovely breakfast this morning? Have you had some lovely breakfast? <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just going to have a look around and I'll see you later. Let's have a look at the site. As you can see, there are some fabulous huts that you can rent. This area in the middle is for tents, communal benches for people who are camping and things, and also these fire pits. You can buy logs from the reception and they're really cute. You can have a whole family worth of people in here cooking over the fire. And you can see somewhere to sit and a fire and a bench and a good chimney. It's quite busy in the campsite bit. You get a pass to get into the campsite, an electronic pass to get into all the facilities um, to get in and out of the main gate. Here we've got hot tub. Let's have a closer look. It's enclosed this area. You do have to book to use it. It's a fire wood burning hot tub and I think it costs 29 yeah 29 euros a day I think for the whole area possibly or maybe for just the hot tub I'm not quite sure and the swimming pool is three euros. This is the toilet block. It's actually quite cool little, it's a traditional looking place, but quite cool drinking water area here with even supply the little dotty cups for you to use. It's just water into a lovely wooden trough. There's a little petting zoo, uh, a sheep over there in an enclosure. They were actually roaming around when we got here yesterday, they seem to have disappeared now. The hut here on the left is the chemical toilet and you've got recycling bins there. And then over on this side we've got the kitchen for campers mostly but there is a laundry in there as well I think and as you can see enormous trampoline area 
and the kiddies playground swings and things. There's an area here with foosball, coffee, coffee and things, bikes for hire, reception and some more houses for rent up here. And as I say, it's a proper kiddies playground. Kids are loving the trampolines. And just up the top here is some mini golf. So this is the restaurant here. Apparently the reviews for the food here are pretty good. Mostly traditional Slovak, but the portions are really large. And this is where you can get your mini golf and souvenirs. Wow. So that's the reception over there. We'll head back to the van. <clears throat> As you can see, it's fairly simply laid out, but it's it's well laid out. There's plenty of space, so you're not on top of each other. Got a little friend, very cautious. <laughs> Doesn't know whether to sniff you or not, Bells, does she? Hello. Uh, we are just getting out of the campsite. That was a bit of manoeuvring required because they've planted trees in very odd places. Um, anyway, so we have to use the white card to get out of the gate and it stays open for about three minutes. As I was saying, it was 35 euros, I think, and 4 euros extra if you want electricity and water. Um, so, yeah, don't quite know where we're going. Um, possibly going to go to Behin... <laughs> possibly going to go somewhere. We're possibly going to go to Bonitsi Castle. I couldn't remember how you pronounced it there for a second. I've probably got it wrong still anyway. But anyway, so we're just going to get out of here first and then I'll program it into the sat-nav. I don't know if you can see in the very distance there, right on top of the hill, there is a lookout point, which apparently gives you a fabulous view. It's 30 meters high, gives you a good view of the castle, which is what we're going to try and see. We're heading for a spot that's listed on park for night, and you can actually park there for 24 hours for about five or six euros. Definitely says buses and caravans anyway. Go down the bottom bit where there's no people.
with some ice cream so if it doesn't melt before we get to eat it. Well, we've just finished at the castle. Um, it was really busy and really, really hot. Um, it's currently saying it's 31 and a half degrees, which I can quite honestly believe. If you stand still, you feel like you're going to melt. The castle is really beautiful, but there are some touristy areas around it selling knickknacks and kiddies' toys and that kind of thing. Um, anyway, not to our liking, let's say, but um, the castle is beautiful and inside and out we didn't actually go in today there was a massive queue standing in the boiling hot sun there's no shade on that area um, apparently it's beautiful inside we didn't get to go in they don't take dogs inside and you can pre-book tickets to go in uh, which we didn't do um, but anyway the outside's really pretty as you will probably have seen by now and uh, there was a lot of loud music playing they had some kiddies activities on and they were playing music so i'm gonna have to overdub that with some soundtrack because I won't be allowed to do it for uh, royalty reasons. The car park which we thought was going to be 20 euros because the ticket they gave us said Auto 20 and they do charge 20 euros for caravans because you've got a car and a caravan and for buses, coaches and we thought because we were so long they were charging us to be a bus. They've just been to the ticket machine and they only charged us for a motorhome or car which is 6 euros. 24 hours so you could stay overnight as well it was a huge car park there are toilets on site as well so you could use those but anyway we're heading off home now because it's too hot to walk around so i hope you've enjoyed the video we'll see you in the next one so from me doug and bella bye for now thanks for watching